Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care. And uh, as most of you know, if you've seen previous videos, I've already been running the twills on the 52 inch Z3X for a week and a half now. And I just got the other set in for the 61 inch. Now for reference, and again, I stated this in the other video, these are the exact same twills, okay? The same offset, the same uh, five lug, same size, 24, 12, 12. The only difference is that on the 61, you put them on correctly. So basically the deeper offset faces out. On the 52 inch, the offset is facing in because you don't want the tire sticking out as far as it does on the 61. So let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. So you can see the offset right here. And it goes, it actually goes right to my, my wedding ring. So that's uh, roughly three inches, we'll say. I'm just guessing on that. But um, you can see on the trim side how much the, how much the deck sticks out. And then you can see on the discharge side that it's actually a little more, it's actually a little past the edge of the deck, about an inch actually. But with the quick shoot on there, it comes out about even. Then on the 61, you have the tires turned the proper way where the offset is facing out. And you can see the difference. There's, there's about another inch of depth in the offset. And then again, you have your trim side, of course, wider deck. It's a 61 inch deck. So you have your trim side, your discharge side, and on this mower, it actually sticks out about a, the deck sticks out about an inch, inch and a half past the tire. So, uh, but you notice right here, the distance between the tire and the mower. And then on the 52, you don't have that. I mean, you do have, you have clearance, but it's not a lot. I mean, you're just, uh, you're just barely giving yourself enough clearance. So, so basically what I'm, what I'm explaining is if you took this wheel, took it off, flipped it around, put it back on to change the offset, then this tire would stick out exactly like that one does. So instead of having, you know, this much tire sticking out, you would have as much as you do on the 61, which is quite a bit more. Um, there's a couple inches difference, roughly. So anyway, um, you can run the, the twills on both mowers, and they do work. You just have to invert. That's, I don't know if that's the proper word, but you just have to invert these uh, to change the offset so that they don't stick out too far. But guys, let me tell you, the traction difference, I mean, that is that is the main thing. I mean, obviously, you know, you're not gonna have flats. You're gonna get two to three times the life of the tire out of a twill versus a pneumatic. The ride quality is better, but let me tell you the number one thing that, that I'm seeing with this tire, that I'm liking about this tire, is the traction. I went from a nine and a half inch tire on this mower which they're right over here. I'll show you the factory tires here in a minute. Nine and a half inch tire to a 12. That's the big difference. And this mower, for the week that we had twills on this mower and not that one, this mower was actually getting around better than that mower on wet, slick areas, uh, muddy areas. So the twills definitely outperform the factory tires. I mean, hands down outperform in every way except for price i mean obviously the twills cost more so let's look at the factory tires uh, these are the tires that came off the 52 and you can you can tell how narrow those are um, quite a bit more narrow than the tires that came off of the 61. Uh, the 61 the tires are wearing quite a bit faster i mean you can see they're they're getting close to being slick right here there's only about an eighth of an inch of uh of tread wear left on these. These have probably closer to a quarter of an inch of tread wear and I don't know if that's just the difference in the weight between the two mowers or the difference in the operators. You know I tend to be a little bit a uh, little bit more rambunctious on my mower than Gage is on the 52. Um, but guys man these tires are just incredible. Uh, what you're looking at on price at least this is this is for me this is in my town at a local tire dealer it's a michelin tire dealer 
uh, $1,124.88. So $1,125 basically for the set, for the pair. You know, it, that's a lot of expense. So one thing that I'm doing, and I encourage you guys to do this on all of your equipment, uh, mowers, trucks, everything that's in your business, I keep a log and, and my log is just a notebook, a spiral notebook. And every time I change the oil, every time I change tires, uh, every time I do any kind of you know major maintenance on my on my truck, same thing, oil, tires. Um, I don't I don't write down like changing blades or greasing the spindles, but like um, hydro oil change, you know things like that. Um, I keep a log of all of that stuff so that I can look back and see when things are due again. Um, I write down the date that the service was done. I write down the hours on the machine when the service was done and then what service, you know, in detail. So the reason I'm telling you that is I wrote down the hours on both of these machines. Um, this machine has 347 hours on it. When I put the twheels on, it now has uh, over 350, like 355 or something like that. So I wrote down the hours on both of these machines when I put the twheels on. So I know roughly how many hours of life I'll get out of a set of factory tires. And now I can keep track of how many hours of life I get out of the twheels. Um, the, the big mower here has 380.6 hours. And I just put the twheels on today. So uh, now I can keep track of how long they last, how many hours I get out of them. Um, you know at what point the traction starts to decrease or I get a I get some kind of a failure or a flaw in the tire You know, I can keep track of all of that another thing that I did on this mower I don't know if I told you guys this in the last video, but I painted the front wheels black When I put the twheels on it was a uh, it was one of the few rain free days that I had Where I wasn't mowing so I painted the front wheels black just the wheel I didn't change the tires or anything like that, but I just painted the wheels black, and I really like the way that looks, especially with the twheels being all black compared to the 61 that still has the gray wheels. Um, those gray wheels just, they kind of look nasty, guys. Uh, whether it's the big wheels or the small ones, those gray wheels just show everything. Um, every little bit of grass, mud, whatever you get on them. And, and not that the black ones are perfect. You know, they're gonna show stuff too. But, but here's the, here's the comparison, you know, those rear tires are brand new. Both of these mowers, they just got a rain bath because it rained when I was getting ready to, to video. So they're, they're rinsed off by the rain, but those twheels are dirty from an entire week and a half of use. Haven't washed the mower. So an entire week and a half of use, dirty twheels, clean twheels dirty front wheels dirty front wheels and can you tell the difference i mean this mower actually looks cleaner than this mower as far as the wheels and tires go so um yeah it's just a cosmetic thing i mean who cares right but but i care i you know i appreciate that a machine looks clean when you pull up on a property even if you've been mowing with it all day I try to keep my equipment nice so anyway guys uh, I don't want to be too long-winded I'm not gonna do any kind of demo or anything like that I just wanted to show you the twheels and uh, and and let you know what I'm doing what I'm up to that's kind of what's going on in my business right now this uh, this year you know I've had a lot of a lot of stuff going on between uh, between COVID-19 and the weather you know there's just it's been kind of a crazy year already but uh, this, is, this is a big deal in my business. Um, really, really excited about these twheels. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get off here and uh, I'll keep you updated. Uh, try, to, try to keep some videos coming your way on the twheels and, and how they're working, how they're holding up. As always, get out there and make some money and we'll catch you on the next one, guys.